Have you been searching and trying to find coveted internships or jobs in the music, fashion, and entertainment industries and are coming up short? Then you need to stay with me here as I discuss the strategies, the ways to break in, what kind of stories you need to tell. How do you sell yourself and bring your value to the entertainment, music, and fashion industry. For over 30 years, I have owned my own public relations and marketing company in New York City and Miami. Throughout that time, I've had the ability to bring in fashion companies from Europe, including Ballet of Switzerland, Pucci, Escada, Crezia, Kenzo, some of the most well-known brands in the world to the U.S. marketplace. In addition, in entertainment, I've had the ability to work with famed Elizabeth Taylor and creating the first ever Commitment to Life AIDS benefit. In addition, I've worked with Bob Pittman, the creator of MTV, and the ability to bring reality shows to a new format. Throughout my years, I have seen what has worked and what doesn't work. I wanted to make these videos because I've been working with so many clients who are breaking or trying to break into this industry. And what I've come to discover is that it is a different strategy than any other business in the world. It's one of the most challenging businesses. And with it being challenging comes with a strategic action plan on how to break in. So this will be the first of three series that I will be doing on how to break into the fashion, music, and entertainment industries. There are many mistakes that we make as we're trying to find our dream career. What I find so many of my students and clients doing is A, when they're saying let's meet up for coffee with a potential person that they might have worked with before or met in college, they don't know how to do their ask. I was actually working with someone the other day who said I've taken so many of the people I've worked with out for, out for coffee. And I said, what do you say to them? And then I say to them, can you help me? In the entertainment, music, and fashion industry, that question will never fly. And what I will teach you is how to carve out your story and what value you bring so that instead of saying, how can you help me? You're gonna be saying to them, let me help you. Give me this opportunity because I will bring value to you. Knowing who you are and what your story is is key to finding your dream career. As I was mentioning, the client that I'm currently working with didn't know her story. When I asked her, what do you do in an interview? She said she goes over her resume. That is the first ah, bad answer. What you want to do and what she was able to do on a potential employer that she spoke to is to tell about her background. This girl had an illustrious background that she was not even aware of. And through excavating her childhood and what she did as a child and throughout high school, she was a theater kid. And then she actually started a, a late night show at her college. Then she went on to be an intern at SNL. But she never explained those things when she went in and people asked her, tell me a little bit about yourself. That is key. When somebody asks you, tell me a little bit about yourself, and you've all gotten that, it is not a reference to your resume. They're asking, who are you? Especially in the entertainment and music, your story, your unique story of who and what you are is what is gonna get your foot in the door. Everybody in this industry has a story. That's why there's Netflix and Hulu. They're all storytelling mediums, streaming services. Whether you wanna be an agent or a manager or a coordinator, Knowing your background, knowing your story is key to getting your foot in the door. The components of a powerful story is twofold, threefold actually. It is A, finding out what in your background made you passionate about what you're pursuing now from a very authentic space, from finding out what you did as a child in your room before your mother called you for dinner. What were you doing? Were you putting on plays for the family? Were you writing stories? What was it that you were doing that you said, aha, this is what I wanna do for the rest of my life? We craft that throughout and we pull a thread through all those stories. When I was a child, when I was in middle school, when I was in high school, when I was in college, maybe the first couple internships you did, 
We craft a theme through it all. For instance, if you want to be a comedic writer, where throughout those lineages were you making people laugh? What was that moment when you stood behind stage when you had written a, like a play for your middle school class and you saw people cracking up? These are where we come to tell your story. If it's music, what performance did you do? What piano recital? What songs did you sing that brought people to tears? That's the story we want to craft. Without those stories, it is very hard to convey why you want to be in this industry. A most recent story that I've crafted with a client is somebody who was thinking that they were an entrepreneur. They were attending a school in South Carolina. And when I would ask him what kind of entrepreneurship he would do, he would, he didn't, couldn't come up with it. But when we started talking about music, he talked about how much he loved beats and how he loved to create beats and how he would get kids in the dorm room to come and maybe somebody who played violin or piano or guitar and he would do jamming sessions. It became very clear that he was not an entrepreneur and that he was wasting his time in the school. Throughout our storytelling and being able to see that when he was younger, he actually was in a band that played throughout the Northeast. And he was the one who actually called up the, the clubs and things to get his band to be seen. He played at his high school. And when he recounted that, the excitement and the joy and the passion and the happiness that he felt, well, then I suggested, why don't you attend a music school like Berklee College of Music? Come to find out that he now is at Berklee College of Music, where he's pursuing his music career in being a producer with a, a business background, and he is loving his life. He is putting together a band. He is out. He is trying to get into clubs and and doing performances as clubs throughout Boston. Now he will have a story to tell when he is applying for jobs. And that makes me so happy that he really realized his passion and is pursuing it and taking the steps to do that. In addition, I had worked with a young woman who was graduating Syracuse. At that time, about two months before she graduated, she wanted to be in music. When I asked her, is she in the music department? She indicated no. Have you written for any of the music magazines up there? No. Did she know any professors in music? No. Within a small, short period of time, I had her enroll in a music class. There was a music magazine up at Syracuse where she was able to get involved and actually started to represent some groups that were up there that she could write about. And then we started to network in the music industry. We came to find out through her storytelling that her father had been in the music industry. And we actually found out that when she was eight years old, she used to sit on like the, the big things where they, you know, put the guitar and all the packaging. And he had a thing called Rocket Cargo. It was all the cargo that went to all the concerts. And she sat on them one day when the, her, her father was handing the guitar to Paul McCartney. And there we found the story that being in the music industry was more than just being famous. It was a business. And we were able to craft that story when she would talk to the music industry people. Soon, right at graduation, we did get her a job at a, at a music studio called Futuristics. And two years later now, she's in her dream job with a huge music publishing company, doing A&R and doing business for musicians. You may be thinking, well, that's great, but my parents are not in the music, entertainment, or fashion industry. They don't have to be, but you wanna be. So how do we get you in there? There, everyone has a unique story, but a lot of people don't know how to excavate it. I can tell you from working with hundreds of kids in college, coming out of college, 20 something resets, 30 somethings like I hate what I'm doing and I wanna follow my passion, all the way up to 60. Everyone has a unique story. Now's your time to find yours. If you're listening to this, and have tried and tried and tried to break into the industries that you are passionate about, being it fashion, music, or entertainment. Now is your time to go below this video and you will find my Tada list. My Tada list has prompts of what we've been talking about today, 
which will ask you, what did you do in your room that you were passionate, that brought you joy and brought you happiness before your mom called you for dinner? What are the things that bring you joy in these prospective industries? Let's begin to excavate who and what you are and how we can get you to your prominent place, your desired place, your respectful place in the music, entertainment, and fashion industries. Please leave a comment in the comment section below and ask me any question you have about how to break in to the entertainment, music, or fashion industry. Also, if you've got any friends that you know of that also are trying to break into these areas, please share this with them as well. I look forward to hearing from you.